Hello, today I'm going to show you how to use the data collation tool which goes with the biodiversity uh, assessment program for the Backyard Explorer. There is a document that goes with this particular spreadsheet and it's available from the museum uh, website. On the summary page there are just two buttons that you will need to enter some data through. There is the school button or community button and here is where you will put in things like the school name, location, who the teacher is, what their class is, and the names of the groups that you're going to use for your particular study. The second button that you will use is the abiotic button, which is where you will record some of the abiotic conditions uh, that you've actually assessed uh, during your study. Once you hit the update button, it will be automatically entered into the spreadsheet in the appropriate cells. School data sheet is not one that you would normally have to edit or change because this data is entered directly from the school form on the front sheet. Same applies to the physical data. As you can see already, the habitat and the impact uh, data has already been automatically entered into this part of the spreadsheet. Let's have a look at this one because the data value sheet is one where you can make changes if you wish. The data that you see here is data that will appear in all the drop-down boxes throughout the spreadsheet. But you can edit these particular entries and change these values to suit your particular circumstances or your particular data. So for example, if you've used other collection methods other than the ones that are listed here, you can add more underneath. If you find that you're finding animals that are not listed, then you can again add them by putting their common name into say this cell and then the order name uh, across into this cell. Now to make changes on this sheet to prevent users accidentally doing the wrong thing, it's being protected. So to change the protection, you need to go to Tools, Protection, and then Unprotect the Sheet. Once you've done that, you can make changes, but just remember when you're finished to protect the sheet again so that users can't accidentally make changes to this part of the spreadsheet. All that has to happen from here is that the different groups who have been accessing data need to enter their data. Now, there are 10 different sheets, all identical. Once the data is entered into the individual sheet for each group, it will then automatically be summarised onto the front page. So the first point of data that they need to enter is what is the collection method that they've used. It might be beating 10, let's say, they've counted, of bugs. Over here, this column is, is optional, and from there they decide what type of um, mouth parts. Once that's done, you'll notice that the first data entry point has been entered. Over here on the right, there is a graph which is automatically being generated. Now, I'll put in another data point or two just to show how that builds as we go. And it might be that we've found five spiders. You can see now that this graph is starting to build as more and more data is entered. Now, let's just move back to the summary chart and just see what's happening on that page. And here we go. We've now got the number of spiders that we've collected and also the number of bugs that we've collected. That way you will get a summary data very easily uh, for your comparative studies.